chat. So this is going to be a Mecha structure. Um, there are three main components in Mecha. We don't follow president, vice president, or secretary. We instead have an internal, external, and concilio. My name is Karina Ortiz. Um, I'm a grad student. This is my first semester. I did my undergraduate work here. So I've been in Mecha for four years. Yeah, four years. And then uh, in that time, I've gone from general body member to secretary slash note taker my second year, general body member again, and then um, concilio, so like the event coordinator basically. And then this year I'm general body again. Positions I have the most responsibilities, right? They don't have any more power than any others, just more responsibilities. So the first one is internal. So they're kind of like the representative of Mecha here on campus. So they would be the ones that are meeting with um, the faculty, administrators, other orgs, you know, stuff like that. Um, so they're the ones that are kind of like tasked with like forming those relationships, right? And then also they're kind of like the point person where it's like, I don't know what to do, like help me. And then like they provide resources, etc. External is again the representative of Mecha de Sison outside of the, of this space. So Mecha is a national organization, right? And then um, they would meet with like representatives of like other other states other chapters within California, etc. And then they are tasked with providing us like reports on like what National Mecha is doing and like how we fit into that. Concilio is the event coordinator and so they're they're tasked with like putting on two major events which is independence during the fall, um, Dia de los Muertos which is like a really big two day event which is really cool. It's very hard. Oh and then um also like the retreats for the members and there's RYC which is the Raza Youth Conference Coordinators. There's two of them. We bring usually we bring over like 500 students. A lot of them are high a lot of them are high school students. We do get some like middle schoolers sometimes. Um we, we invite them to campus. We pay for like a lot of their transportation. We feed them. We give them like um shirts, some types of goodies and then we provide workshops for them. Um educational workshops, uh, more like recreational workshops. So we'll have like Rasquatch screen, screen printing, we'll have like indigenous self-defense, we'll have like spray painting, and then we'll also have like how to fill out your DACA, like how to fill out your FAFSA, like you know, um, different resources. And then recently we've also been having like a little like mini workshop for like the parents, so like what to do, like how to support your, your, your kid that's going to college, right? So Mecha, um, we have two meetings a week. We have one for cabinet. Uh, cabinet is on, um, it's usually in the Chicano house at 6 p.m. Uh, we all go and general body is welcome. Um, that's what we refer to people as who do not have a, do not hold a position. Um, so we go and we make up, uh, we make the schedule for the following meeting and then we'll discuss um, issues that are arising in our community and what we can do to help and just a way to we can be organized and then we take it all to GB. We have really bonding activities. We have so much different um, ways we can structure the meetings and it's really cool to see all the people show up and show support.